Hi everyone, welcome to the second Singapore vlog. The first thing that we did on the Sunday morning was to have some kaya toast for brekkie and then we headed to Gardens by the Bay. I hadn't been to the cloud forest or the flower dome before so I was super excited to visit those attractions. Our feet were still wrecked from the first day of walking so we ended up taking the shuttle bus which was a really nice shortcut. Sunday and we're at Gardens by the Bay. It's a really beautiful day and as you can tell, so sweaty. Wow! Oh my god, that's so amazing! So cool! <laughs> Huntington Bear? <laughs> Easily in the sand. What sort of soil do we have? <laughs> <laughs> Walking through the cloud forest and the flower dome was such an amazing experience. I just found it incredible to see all these different flowers and plants absolutely thriving. As someone who loves and appreciates flowers, I felt like this was right up my alley. The adult ticket for a non-resident for the flower dome and cloud forest was $28 and we paid a little extra for the shuttle bus. We ended up going to Shake Shack for lunch, which was such a nice treat because we don't have it in Australia. I loved the burger and the sambal mayo fries. I loved the 50-50 drink, which was half lemonade and half iced tea, a combo that I didn't know I needed in my life. And I also tried my cousin's pandan shake and that was so delicious. Definitely more of a rich kind of dessert, but man, that was so good. I regret not on ordering one for myself. It is around 4 p.m. and we're just back at our hotel. We just said bye to my little brother Jonathan. So he has gone back and he's caught his flight to Perth. We have a dinner reservation tonight at Candlenut Kitchen. Super excited because I've heard so many good things and really great reviews. I think I'm probably going to go get a foot massage soon. I feel exhausted. So yesterday we walked around 20,000 steps and we've walked around 10,000 steps today already and the day is definitely not over so i'm just tired guys i don't usually move this much i mean my average is i want to say like 200 steps when i'm working from home it's so bad but anyway we are packing in a lot in our day so i'm just tired i'm really enjoying this break that we're all having at the moment just chilling at the hotel before our dinner so the foot massage place was unfortunately fully booked so I didn't get my massage well actually he gave me a really nice massage so that was really nice anyway we've just changed and gotten dressed we're heading to dinner now and we're going to candle nut kitchen
Monday and I'm very sad because Key has left. He flew out this morning. He didn't have enough leave to take more days off. But anyway, today we're gonna all catch up for breakfast together and then I think we might split off. So I might hang out with my cousin Bernadette and her partner Nicole and we might do some shopping. And I kind of just want to do some walking around and like sit in a cafe, visit a bookstore. I think tonight we're gonna all meet up again for dinner and go to Haji Lane bars. I think that is the plan. And to report on last night's dinner, it was it was amazing, like highly, highly recommend. We got the set menu and it was honestly worth the money and it was just delicious. Everything from <laughs> the entrees to the dessert, I was like, wow. It was so good to try something different. to Haji Lane and the Arab Street area. There were so many Mediterranean and Middle Eastern restaurants to choose from. We ended up having some Turkish food, which was really nice. And I will say this area is really good if you're after some veggie food options. We went to a couple of bars after dinner and called it a night. And that is a wrap on this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and like and I will see you in the next one.